All right, so we have Urosh Medic versus Jalen Turner. So Jalen Turner has a 2-inch height advantage and a 4.5-inch reach advantage. So I break down the strike into these two. So for Medic, uh, I believe he comes from a kickboxing background. He's uh, he's very rangy. Like he's um he's got a lot of range with the way he fights. Like just very he's very on the outside, and then when he does close distance, it's uh it's he's quite far away when he does close distance, but he covers a lot of distance with those kicks and you know just his punches as well. Uh, he's a southpaw, so that opens up the body kick and the high kick for him usually. And that's generally what he goes for. It's it's that's definitely the fa the favored techniques of Euros Medic. He likes the body kick, likes the high kick, especially the body kick when his opponents he, when his opponents are circling against the fence. Uh, he likes the body kick and uh, just a straight left as well. You know, a lot of the stuff come from the power side. For Jalen Turner, he's a southpaw. He's a southpaw as well, so he will switch stance occasionally, but mostly southpaw. Nice snapping jab. Nice lead left hook, no sorry, lead right hook. Uh, the right hook is nice and quick, really tight with it. Uh, his head will stay on the set of line when he is throwing punches, so he does need to watch out for that. When he does throw combinations, like a 2-1 or a 2-3, he will lead with the 2 quite often, so it just, it's tough um, when you lead with the power hand. Um, you can get countered quite easily. He also has straight knees when his opponent does close distance. You know, he's a very long fighter, he's got a good frame for the division, so straight knee is normally there. Probably isn't there so much because Euros Medic, his torso is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit higher than his his usual opponent. Uh, so break down the grappling of these two. So for Jalen Turner, he's a body lock, he'll go for the outside leg trip. He will jump guillotine in the clinch uh, to sweep. Like, so it kind of jumps guillotine, uses butterfly hooks to, uh, you know, reverse position and he does have nice reversals honestly uh, for Medic you know he will go for like shitty arm bars and triangles off his back um, which just have terrible technique but if he gets on top he has nice standing ground and pound like straight punches how these guys win fights so for Jalen Turner good takedown defense good frame for the division and that's for both really how these guys lose fights so for Medic it looks like he's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu needs a bit of work you know he makes a lot of mistakes on the mat and he has subpar takedown defense as well. So for Jalen Turner, he's a suspect chin. I think his chin's pretty suspect. Past the victory for these two. So for Medic, keep it on the feet. Don't engage in the clinch because you're playing into his game and you can go for takedowns from there. Uh, if you do knock him down, call him up. Like don't engage on the ground unless he's completely out of it because there's a high potential that you do get reversed if you do engage him on the mat unless he's totally rocked. For Jalen Turner, if he throws any leg kicks, look to check them. Uh, Jalen's actually pretty good at checking leg kicks, um, for, which is unusual for a southpaw. Also, throw some leg kicks of your own. Look to ground the fight, though. I feel like that's where you have the biggest advantage in this fight. Like, just focus on control first. Focus on control in that initial scramble, and then you can look for opportunities to finish after that, because he will give you opportunities, if you're patient. How is this fight going? Not much footage on Medic, and unfortunately he didn't give us much to work with as well um, in his UFC debut against Elon Cruz. Uh, he does seem to have a bit of raw power and good range control, I must say, but you know I feel like he hasn't had time to really show off his full bag of tricks just yet. Like every one of his fights, they look the exact same. It's like a body kick, body kick, straight left, and then the opponent just dies. I've Never seen him face a southpaw. I think his favorite strike is, from what I've gathered from watching him, is the body kick at distance, which isn't going to be open for him here, like the, the roundhouse body kick with the power leg. He does have a kickboxing background, and his striking does look good, like overall, so I imagine, you know, he's going to have some low calf kicks as well, some nice combinations when he's facing a southpaw. But it's just super hard to get a read on the bloke since... There isn't a lot of contrast between all of his career fights, really. It's, it's what I explained before just then. Uh, he trains at King's MMA, so you got to imagine he's getting some good looks at the gym and also some pretty good, uh, you know, coaching with his striking with uh, Rafael Cordero. With all that being said, though, I will I do favor Medic from what I've seen in the very limited tape or the very limited uh, just looks I've, ha I've got from him. I do favor him in the striking battle against Jalen Turner. I feel like Jalen could definitely win the striking battle, but I feel like that's not where he should be looking to take this fight. 
you know, unless Euros has made significant strides in his grappling game over the past two years, Jalen should dominate him on the map. Probably finishes him on the map, like, pretty quickly as soon as he gets there. If uh, Medic's previous fights were anything to go by, like, Jalen should really dominate him on the map. The problem with Jalen, though, is that he barely initiates, or he rarely initiates takedowns. Like, he'll never go for them. He's primarily a striker. So I'm concerned he's going to give Medic the fight that he wants, like a kickboxing match, basically. Like, so, you know, it, it's tough, because I do feel like he has a huge advantage on the map. Still, you know, Medic, he hasn't fought anybody. He's just steamrolled bum so far. I don't think I can pick him. Just with the ground skills he's displayed on tape so far, and the fact that Jalen could potentially win the stand-up as well. Just a lot of unknowns with this guy. Like, Chin's unknown. What's his clinch game like? Cardio's an unknown. He's never been past the six-minute mark in a fight. Five of his fights are over in under three minutes. Uh, so, betting-wise, I'm probably going to stay away, unless Jalen's like a huge underdog, or there's any props that I like. But yeah, that's, that's my read on the fight. Alright, so if you guys could like the video, that'd be awesome. Uh, prediction is Jalen Turner by submission. Uh, yeah, I think he should be a slight favourite. I think the line should be pretty much flipped, but maybe Jalen a little bit more of a favourite than Medic is right now. Uh, fight doesn't go the distance. What's that? I was looking at that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's value. These, I don't, I don't see these guys going to the distance. They rarely ever do, and now that they're facing each other, I'm guessing one of them's going to be finished. Either Medic KOs him pretty early, or uh, Jalen Turner finishes him late or submits him after he gets him to the map or TKOs him once he gets him to the map. What's Turner submission? Seven dollars, you know, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I still think that is value and I'm probably going to bet that. Medic submission. Um, yeah, I mean, turn inside the distance is nice as well, but, you know, I'm kind of hoping for Medic money line to go down, so maybe the Turner money line is, is kind of playable at like two dollars. 20 two dollars 30 uh kind of hoping for that as the week drags on but yeah 